your book is based on white mediocrity, which is kind of like one of my favorite subjects. And <laughs> the, you know, how it is, we, uh, is woven itself through history that I, you know, one of my suppositions is that it's not just black excellence that, that uh, whiteness fears, it's just excellence in general. And even as a white person, you mediocrity is more rewarded than even white excellence because you know that's I think the root of the conservative fear of for for instance the liberal bias in academia they don't just hate like uh, the progressive black people they hate progressive white people because other if you start basing everything on data and science and excellence then what chance would a white person have mm -hmm. in this world right. Mm -hmm. um, so, so that's one of that's always been one of my suppositions is that it's not just a fear of black excellence. Mm -hmm. It is because because white supremacy has a goal, and the goal is not to just elevate whiteness. It is to elevate mediocrity, right? Because you know, if all of the greatest white people you know, made it to the top, then they wouldn't have to worry about, you know, the mediocre white people. What they, they, the white supremacy is, is to ensure that the mediocre white people rise faster and higher than the most excellent non-white people. That is absolutely the case. Absolutely. And I think, you know, this idea of holding ourselves to higher standards like I'm always trying to encourage my white colleagues my white students to hold themselves to higher standards because that as you put it is exactly what is trying to be prevented only if we are invested in higher standards would those who are refusing to actually make this country better right like if we say for example that we care about something like equal opportunity if we say that we care about fairness and um all of those things that we say are American, then why wouldn't we be invested in that actually being in place? And it's only, as you say, keeping mediocrity rewarded that gives people this investment. So for me, the reason why it's so important to the book From Slave Cabins to the White House is simply because I'm trying to have us really pay attention to how much even the small successes of Black people are pounced on. And as you say, it's only because you want the lowest of white people to succeed over excellent Black people that that has been such a constant, constant problem. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, that's that's always been my supposition is that, and that's why I think when you talk about issues, you have to talk about like the 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 measure is not if the black, the excellent black people will make it to the top because you know uh, excellent black people will rise maybe right, but does a mediocre average intelligence black ch child have the chance to rise to the level of a mediocre you know average intelligence white child and that and or uh, uh, you know the dumbest black the dumbest white child will probably make it further than a reasonably intelligent black child simply because of the way our society is structured so you can't say for instance like i always say when I go to a position, I want a black position, right? Now, a lot of people say that's racist, but I know because of the way this country is structured that if you are a black doctor or a black lawyer, you are probably the smartest person in your elementary school, mm -hmm. smartest person in your high school, you're probably a valedictorian, you're probably the smartest person in your college class. Mm -hmm. And if you're a white person, your daddy might have been a doctor. You know, it it's, I mean, it's, 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 it's that comparison that I am always, that always interests me, right? Right, to become, like, just like Chris Rock said, right? Like he is the most famous comedian in the world. He lives on a block with Mary J. Blige, one of the most successful singers in the world and a white chiropractor and yep. a white dentist. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 
So, so that is the comparison. That's the, that's that's how America works. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, thank you again so much. And you know, I'll just continue to to watch your career and and be inspired because, like I said, I'm just not as funny, and I really, really crave that humor. It helps me to stay sane. So you are doing the Lord's work, in my opinion. <laughs> well, thank you, thank you. <laughs>